Hello, this is Alex, and I wanted to talk about how to become a COA. And I made this mostly for people who, who may have graduated high school and they're looking for, for something to do in healthcare, or for maybe some college students who are thinking about doing optometry and they're looking for some healthcare experience before they apply to, to optometry school. So there's three pathways to become a COA. The first pathway is through a clinical training program. And this is a formal program. I've heard of them being anywhere from 18 months to two years. And these are our classroom setting areas where they also have you go and do rotations uh, with, with ophthalmologists and, and learn how to be a COA. When you do these programs, what's really nice is when, when you're done, you don't have to do any work experience. The second pathway is a non-clinical training program. So these are also formal training programs, but they don't, they don't give you the rotations. You don't go out and work with ophthalmologists while you're in the program. So Jacopo says that you have to do this plus 500 hours of work experience in order, in order to become a COA. The third pathway is through an independent training course. So this is a pathway I took. This is a pathway lots of people I know take. You get hired. Uh, you get hired by an ophthalmology clinic, and work for them for about six months. And while you're working for them, you can study for the COA exam. And once you hit that 1,000 hour mark, which is about six months if you're working full time, you can take the COA exam. And and if you pass, you, you become a COA. And that's it. Thank you very much, and I hope this information...